So hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a simple tutorial showing you how I'm going to color my hair using this hair gel. Well it's not a hair gel, but it's kind of like a hair, literally it's called a hair coloring material. Literally, hair coloring material. So as you probably already know or already have seen on like Instagram is these it's like almost like a cream it allows you to temporarily dye your hair without compromising the health of your hair and so I picked up three colors I have red blue and purple but I'm actually going to use purple in my hair today because I felt like you know I'm doing purple just so you guys can see what it looks like it's almost like a pomade it is that's what the texture looks like All right it's not it doesn't feel greasy or anything it just feels feels a little wet to touch does it have water in it yep water is the very first ingredient so i'm actually gonna scrape this off my fingers mm, okay well i can already see that i'm gonna have to use gloves when handling this thing in my hair just so i don't get it everywhere so i'm gonna take off my sweater because i want to get hair i'm done my sweater so my hair is freshly washed um I have not put any other product on my hair, so my hair is pretty dry. What I'm gonna do is lightly mist my hair with some water, which is what I have here. So I'm gonna lightly mist my hair here. Um, then I'm gonna grab my Shea Moisture Style and Milk because I want to my hair to be moisturized prior to me installing this. So. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to split it in half like so. So what I'm going to do now is grab some gloves because I do not want to put this on myself. My hair is pretty much detangled already because I washed my hair, deconditioned it and detangled and so I'm just going to be finger detangling my hair to work the product through. So I got my gloves on. Alright, so <laughs> take some of this. Kind of smooth my fingers in. Look at that's too much. Okay, let's get a little bit of that. I have to just it's not a bad scent, it has a really light scent. Can't believe you might do this, y'all. Everybody be purple. I'm gonna grab my water bottle again. Spray my hair. Maybe it's just a little dry. All right, now I feel like the product is slipping a lot better. All right. I just want a little bit of oil. I think maybe that would do better on top. And I'm actually going to my twist pretty big. Um, one, because it's late. And uh, it's late. And I don't want to be here forever. Um, two, I, mean, I just I want the curls to come out a bit fuller looking, and so that's the first twist. Again, lightly mist of the hair. I'm actually gonna do my oil for on top, so a little bit of my oil. 
So the oil, I realized the first time, like I liked how the oil gave my hair some slip um, with that, with the color on. So, and, norm, and plus, normally whenever I do my hair, I always lightly mist my hair or when my hair is soaking wet, I will always put an oil on top. So, Put it in the palm of my hand. Mix in between. So now I'm going to take my hair and apply. That feels a lot better going on this time than the first time. Try to separate my hair as much as possible and then, you know, especially my ends. I, mean, I just naturally from coloring my hair always, because what happens is that when you color your hair, you don't actually separate the hair properly, then parts of it's colored, parts of it's not. figure out why. I don't know if it's the, the styling combs that I'm using, the detangling tools, that is a knot. I feel it. So I finished one half of my head and I did my hair in really, really large twists. So I have about five twists. So what I'm gonna do now is continue the rest of the process off camera and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it all, what my hair looks like completely saturated and purple. <gasps> Crazy. Right, so I am all <sighs> done y'all. My, my hair is purple. I got some mascara over here. I'm off to bed. I'm actually, oh, since I'm off to bed, what I'm gonna do is actually sit underneath the hooded dryer, maybe 10 to 15 minutes on high. I'm not necessarily looking for it to be, my hair to be completely dry, but just about maybe 85% of the way dry or 90% of the way dry, give or take. And so that it allows me not to go to bed with soaking wet hair. And then two, because if my hair is wet, then, the color has a better chance of transferring from my hair and my bonnet to my pillow. And I do not want to stain my pillowcases. But this is the black scrap that I have. And so what I'm gonna do is that I kind of roll the ends, the ends of my hair into these little balls. Um, that way they will be a little curly because I did my twist a lot bigger so they won't be as defined because of that. So silky side, gonna cover my hair. And I'm not doing it tightly, so it's pretty loose on my head. And then I'm gonna take my bonnet, which has silk on the inside and then regular whatever material this is on the outside. And then put that on top. All right, and so that's how I'm gonna wear silk tonight. Um, my hair is pretty much dry and whatever is left to dry the um, bonnet underneath will go scrap underneath the walls or whatever is left and I hope that it's all dry but if not we're just gonna have to take it out and then work with it but anyways catch you guys tomorrow it's the next day my hair is still not 100 percent dry but I have to go somewhere and so however this turns out is however it's gonna turn out I'm gonna do is unravel the little ball that I made at the end and start taking this out
first impressions is that my hair does feel dry and I know it has to be the dye itself because my hair was pretty moisturized um, after before I put this in yeah so the back is a little wet I hope my lips aren't too pink because I kind of feel like my lips are too pink for this red dress Um, one thing I do like about the big twists is, be, is because they're large, um, I don't have to spend as much time separating each individual twist and I can just, and because they kind of, I realize with bigger twists, my hair kind of naturally separates, I guess just the individual curls within the twist, makes it easier. Ooh, don't throw my mark, but y'all just put some dirt around. Um, naturally. It makes it easier to unravel. It is like raining. Do you see this? Okay. Let me show you, maybe. Can you see the purple? I don't know if you can, but it's like literally purple residue everywhere. But this is my hair, guys. It's cute. I like the purple. I like the idea that yesterday I had black hair and today I have purple hair. Mm -hmm. Purple fingers, <laughs> see my fingers are definitely purple. I got a makeup wipe and I'm literally taking off the purple. Makeup's right off actually. Things that I immediately notice is that my hair does feel dry. Um, I, you know, I expect that the beeswax, which is not a nourishing, um, it's not nourishing to your hair at all, would cause the dry feeling. Um, it does feel a little, like although my hair has still has body, it does feel like um, really not sticky it just feels really like glued <laughs> like really glued or like really like hard to separate and, I, and again it's the beeswax because I've used beeswax before and beeswax has that feel where it you know it's really good on your edges because it keeps it in place but not necessarily my hair that I want to be kept in place but it's cool I'm okay with it because I don't you know this is not something that I do every day and so one or two or a couple days with my hair feeling this way isn't the end of the world. I'll just go back to doing a deep condition to restore that moisture or you know, using a clarifying shampoo to strip all of this off and then using a deep conditioner to reintroduce that moisture again. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'm, I hope you guys love the look, the final look. I am definitely in love with this look. I think it's fabulous and I definitely will be doing this again. I love the purple against my skin. I don't know, I didn't think I would like it this much but I actually really, really like it. Like. This is a bum twist out, and I feel like even if it's a bad twist out, the fact that it's purple and it's somewhat curly would have been pretty decent. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.